this musical party and Josie Music Awards Kentucky preview show started. So, Renee, we have a full musical play and several music ch musical chairs to make. So let's see if we can fill this menu with some great music from Kentucky artists in just 60 minutes of airtime. So right off of the gate, we are going to do beauty first today. How about that? <laughs> Tiffany Nesbeth, we are so happy to have you on Off the Cuff Overtones mashup party this afternoon. Let's hear it for Tiffany, everyone. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you guys so much. I'm super excited to be here. Tiffany, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, gosh. Um, let's see. Born and raised in Frankfort, Kentucky. Um, I started singing when I was like four years old. My dad had a music room when I was a kid and um, I would lock myself in there and record songs. Uh, the first song I ever recorded was by Kim Wilde, Keep Me Hanging On. And I think that'll always be one of my favorite songs, but just kind of been singing ever since then. I didn't really take music seriously until I moved out of Frankfurt and to the big city of Lexington. <laughs> That's outstanding. <laughs> so you are nominated for this year's Josie Music Awards. I understand it's more than one. <gasps> what, yes. what, are, what are these awards that you've been nominated for? Well, I'm super excited. I mean, I, I've never been nominated before. Of course, it's my first album, but um, I'm nominated for four awards. Wow. Oh, my God. Let's give yeah. it up. That's Woo. huge. <laughs> So my first submission and four awards, um, I'm up for Rising Star of the Year uh, for female. I'm up for Song of the Year uh, under the multi-genre uh, single songwriter category, which is Beautiful Drug, which I think we can yes. play for you today. Yes. Um, and then I'm up for voc Vocalist of the Year, uh, Country Female and EP of the Year uh, female. So my first EP and all these nominations, I can't even tell you how excited I was when the nominations came in and my phone started blowing up. I was mowing the yard and and I came back inside and I had all these messages from Facebook and I had no idea. You I know? mean, you gotta feel like a rock star to be nominated for just more than one. I was hoping for just one. Yeah, and yeah. then, so initially I got three and they hadn't come out with EP of the year yet. So at first it was three and I was over the moon excited about that. And then a couple weeks later, my phone started blowing up again. Everybody's was like, hey, you got EP of the year too. So um, needless to say, uh, you know, when you first, when you put your first album out there, it's, it's so stressful because you have no idea, you know, how people are going to take your music. So to and immediately get four noms was, um, was, the greatest uh, validation ever for your first album. Well, let's talk about the song we're about to play. What are we going to hear? Okay, so this song uh, is a song that I wrote called "Beautiful Drug." Um, it's a kind, it's a play on words. It's about um, love and toxic relationships being an addiction, and so um, very relatable. <laughs> I think that everybody... we say that every week. Don't yeah. we? <laughs> Anytime there's something like that, yes. yeah, people probably think I have the worst love life. But... Same. <laughs> but it's the first song that I ever wrote, and um, I really, really love it. And I, I hope the listeners can relate to it. It's kind of a, a jazzy, bluesy feel, but even though I'm under the country umbrella. All right. Well, let's get to it, folks. Let's listen to her song "Beautiful Drug" by Tiffany Nesbeth. You set me up just to knock me down. You built me up just to tear me down. It seems like I'm always on the ground. You pull A beautiful drug You're cool. 
And that was Tiffany Nesbeth with Beautiful Drug. That was outstanding. And I have to mention, Tiffany is also um, a nurse, I believe, yes. and <laughs> served at this community very well during pandemic. And I just wanted to thank you for that. Oh. We have a lot of uh, musicians that are in the medical field. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's awesome. But I want to ask you, what are you most looking forward to doing? Or what are you most looking forward to participating in on that long weekend in Nashville? Uh, several things, mainly walking, I'm manifesting, so I'm going to walk across that hallowed ground of the Grand Old Opry. <laughs> I'm super Definitely. excited about that. Um, really hoping to walk across at least once <laughs> to accept an award. But also, um, I'm filming that weekend, so I'm working on a film right now. Um, you will see it on streaming next year. It's Ooh. called Hashtag Almost Famous. Oh, man. And so uh, we're going to be filming um, that weekend as well. It's going to be part of the film. So. And there's also a lot of Kentucky musicians that are doing things that weekend in Nashville. We're going to try to get a schedule together. I know Listen Locally is going to have a little Kentucky get-together at <laughs> Nash House.